not working, I think I have to turn around. It is around. No, but yeah. it goes around. I don't think that means All right, so that's good. Okay. Seth, it is difficult for us to put into words the love, admiration, respect, and gratefulness that we have for you. We often say when describing you to people who ask about you that you are the nicest, most caring person we have ever known in our lifetime. You taught us how easy it is to be caring and nice to everyone. You are truly a good human being. You are a role model for us. Not many parents can say that about their children. Remembering the day you were you were born, it was Tuesday. I would I would say you slept in that day, as you often do today, because you arrived around 2:27 p.m. Not in the morning hours. I'm facing the wrong way. Each day, the nurse would would come into the room and ask, "Miller, baby," referring to your name. Not yet, I said. I would hold you in my lap, reading to you a list of names, waiting for some sign that you liked what you heard. When I read the name Seth, you gave me a big smile. You chose your own name, which was the first of many important decisions you've made in your life. Seth, we have shared many wonderful times together, like FaceTime on the train through the Swiss Alps, the time you were at the retreat in Italy, the time you went to India helping the families relocate the looms from their houses, having a seder on the beach in Israel, climbing the cables on the Bay Bridge, to sharing the wonders of Burning Man in the Nevada desert, or just sitting before the fire having wine and cheese at your house or at our home in Elkins Park. Seth, I love our special breakfast together when you are home for a short, short stay before you before a New York business trip. Your telephone calls, emails, text messages, and especially FaceTime always make my day happier. Thank you for choosing me as you know. Wherever you are, you always include us in your journeys and your experiences. How wonderful is that? Include us, including us in your life, there is never a burden to you. Thank you for including us in your life. Thank you for being our son. With all our love, Mom and Dad. Love you. Bye. Hi, Seth. Hi, Seth. Here we are where it all started over 24 years ago, almost half your life, in the courtyard of the law school. We just happen to be here, but we can think of no better place than to send you the very best birthday wishes on this very momentous occasion. We're really excited for you. You've been such an important part of our lives. We love you, and we look forward to the next 50 with your wonderful, positive spirit. All right, Seth, we can't tell you how much you mean to us and how much you're a part of us. We've already seen the boys say hi to Uncle Sethi. So, um, happy birthday. Happy birthday. We love you. We love you. Happy birthday, Uncle Sethi. I'm here to pay tribute to my dear friend, Seth Miller. Uh, what do I love about Seth? Uh, Seth is one of the most loving, kind, and generous people I've ever had the good fortune to meet in my life. And his kindness and love and generosity is infectious to those around him. Um, and he brings up the people around him, and I love him for that. Um, Seth and I have shared so many uh, amazing times together from uh, the fun times of rolling around the playa uh, chasing after either the moon or an art project um, to having some fantastic conversations with the great glass of red wine by the fireplace uh, to helping me through some of the hardest times of my life um, and uh, Seth has always been there uh, when I have needed him and always come through, comes through uh, for the people in his life. Uh, Seth, you're an amazing human being. I don't know what advice I have for you except to keep on doing and being who you are. Um, I love you. Happy birthday. You're fantastic. Happy birthday, Seth. 
just wanted to wish you a very, very happy birthday and send you many wishes for many more beautiful happy birthdays to come. Thank you for being such an amazing time you've made me feel so warm and welcome and made me feel like a part of your family so thank you so much for sharing so much of you so much of your life with me the last couple of years have been amazing with you and i can't wait to see what many more adventures we get into together um one of my most favorite memories of you first memory actually was making dinner over at Alex Lloyd's house and uh, I we were making salad I asked if I could help and he said sure and I, I think we both learned how to use a lemon squeezer that day which was kind of nice um, another great favorite memory I have is shopping the streets of London with you and Tim and discovering that you'd never had book tea before what <laughs> I couldn't get over the fact that you dated so many Asian women and not ever had boba tea. So thank you for sharing that first with Tim and I. That was fantastic. I'm glad we were able to give you your first taste of boba tea. Um, I love you, Seth, because you have the biggest heart. And I just am so thankful to share some of that with me. I love you very much and so I just want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. Uncle Seth. Uh, Mommy says. Mommy says. Float more. Float more. Steer less. Steer less. Love more. Love more. And. 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 Fear less. And fear less. Happy. Ow, I hurt myself. Say happy birthday. The amount of outtakes I've had to do for this video is absolutely funny. Um, happy birthday, Seth. I'm in Napa, in the vineyards. You were supposed to be here today with me, but Nala got the best of you. Um, happy birthday, Seth. I wish that I was with you in Hawaii, and I'm absolutely sure that you're having the best time with everyone. Um, so I send you a big hug and kiss. Oh, gosh, what do I, I mean, the emotions that I feel for you are just, I feel like I explode from everything that I feel. I don't know where I'd be in my life today without you. Um, with the friends that you've shared with me, the love that you've given me, um, and also your, the way that you're committed to yourself and um, your open-minded ways of thinking. I truly don't know anyone like you. I mean, I, you're seriously such a treasure. And um, I, if I really start thinking about it, I could get a little emotional about it because you're just like an angel in my life. And um, I, only hope that one day I'll be able to give as much to you as you've given to me. So thank you, thank you. Um, I can't believe that you're in my life. I feel like beyond blessed. Um, and for your piece of it, um, your piece of, of advice, I can't even speak right now for how many times I've done this video. Um, I think this goes for you and I. We have the same problem. Um, we're a lot like each other than more people know and um, the advice is something that you already know which is that we give love to receive love and sometimes it can drain us um, so I just want you and I to know it's good for me to hear this that everything that we have is inside of ourselves I think you told me that one so I'm just reminding you something that both you and I have to understand. So I love you, Seth, and I wish I was there. So have fun and have a drink for me. Bye.
this thing on? Is this thing on? Hi, Seth. This is your happy birthday. And when I think of you, I think of invitations. You've invited me into your home to cook dinner, and I was smart enough to come early. You invited me to the camp. But I watch you, and you invite people mostly to come and open their hearts and to be present and to play. And that's where I see you at your best. But we're going to turn this around a little bit. I invite you to your 50s. And when I think about your 50s, and I think about our 50s, I think about the walk we took in the middle of the desert where time was, was splayed out and rendered irrelevant. And when that happens, you have the opportunity to let all the accumulated wisdom that you've gathered over your lifetime to just spread out and you get to enjoy it and watch it bear fruit. So, happy birthday, Seth. Hey, Sethi. Doing this message, this video message from the woodlands of Zambia, just to tell you how much I love you. You're such an amazing person, such an amazing heart, such an amazing soul. It's been a gift to know you and to have you in my life. I hope you come visit your Zambia. Look at Zambia. Oh, I guess you just see trees and a copper mine right over there. But I miss you terribly, and I wish you the very best next 50 years of your life. Big kisses. Bye. Happy birthday, Seth. Look Happy who I brought birthday. with me. Happy birthday, Seth. From the old days. We're here in front of the Puget Sound, a beautiful place. I'm very excited to be here, and we're excited for your birthday that's coming up. Half a century is a long time. And I remember when I was turned 50, it was a very big deal. But there's plenty of time to go, Seth. There still is. We have lots ahead of you. And we are actually here watching the salmon swim upstream, which I've never seen before. It's been super interesting. And um, it reminded me of you because you never take the easy way. Um, and I hope you continue not taking the easy way. And um, I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Happy and, birthday. And keep swimming upstream. Yes. Happy birthday. Hey, brother. Just wanted to wish you happiest of birthdays. Um, <laughs> Man, so much to thank you for. I'm just immensely grateful to be able to call you a brother. Um, you know, I never really had like a close posse that felt like brothers till I met you. And I really have you to thank for that. You welcomed me in from the very start, like family, like tribe. But you've taught me a lot about what tribe even means. And so I look up to you in many ways as a role model. Um, you are just such an amazing human being and soul and inspiration for all of us. You touch us in so many ways you probably don't even know about. Um, in terms of advice, man, I don't even know if I have advice to give you. I feel I have so much advice to take from you and learn from you, but just keep on just being you and loving the tribe the way you do. Uh, keep practicing further surrender, uh, just like I am, like we all are, you know, supporting each other in that. Um, and just thank you for being you and all that you do for all of us, for the world, you know, that is the greatest gift of all. Love you, brother, and cannot wait to celebrate your birthday. Hey, Seth. Hey, Seth. We came out to one of your favorite, one of the places that reminds us most of you. We're standing on the top of Hawk Hill. We're super inspired by you and getting everybody out in the outdoors and how you admire and love this place. I'm inspired by our long bike rides and talking with you and the fact that over the years those talks have gotten more and more authentic. I love our shared mission and I'm super proud of you and happy, happy birthday. We love you. I love you, Seth. I thought we have worn our love hats. We've known you for almost a decade and we've loved this journey and we can't wait to continue this journey. So we love and honor you. We brought you to a place you love and honor. Happy birthday, Seth. Happy birthday, Seth. We love you. Love Keep you. going, man. You're doing great work. Uh, you should know that cats turn their backs to the things they love the most. So that's Moriarty uh, in deep tribute to you, Seth. And this is Tamsin. 
Um, Sethi, I have many happy memories. Anagata noodle regatta, uh, being only one. Um, but, uh, I just thought that I would, um, make a little point of saying that, as you know, I have two wives, but my children have four mothers, you of course being one of them. So we have a little message for Seth mom from, uh, Scully the dude. Hey Seth. Um, I remember when we, uh, went up to Healdsburg that one time, you talking about what spiritualism was, and then eventually giving me a Sam Harris book, which I still have and haven't read, but thank you for it. But you still do believe in the power of the chocolate yes, bacon donut, yes. correct? Yes, I do still believe in the power. God incarnate. Yes. Um, and Bonita Vox, understated, um, simple. Uh, hey Seth, um... I remember going up to Hulesburg and getting um, our chocolate mustaches. Um, happy birthday. We love you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, and we wish you many, many centuries more of joy and happiness. And sorry for the crazy backdrop. We, we came to this area specifically so that Moriarty could be part of this tribute. Okay. Love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, everybody. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Uncle Seth! We love you! We love you! Love you! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Seth, happy birthday! I know you are surrounded by beloveds in your practice. Can you welcome all of this love that we all have for you? The way you give it to us so unconditionally, so generously. It's one of the great gifts knowing you is to feel that and experience it and see your embodiment of deep care for others. So, hope you're taking lots of breaths, opening up and letting yourself know how, oh God, how profoundly lovable you are. Happy 50th, I adore you. Mwah. Seth, my brother. Happy birthday. I'm so excited to get to be a part of this and so glad that your friends are organizing it for you. Mm, sending you so much love. Um, I wish you a happy, happy, happy birthday. I'm grateful to have you in my life. My partner in missing partner sessions. Um, I think I'm supposed to share one memory. I one strong memory I have of you is um, organizing that Tahoe retreat. Um, I don't know how many years ago it was now. It kind of formed a whole circle of friends for me and brought me closer to a lot of people, including yourself, that led to a certain peer group in many ways that uh, has also led to a lot of other things in my life. Um, really grateful for the role you played in organizing that and um, and for you including me and I experience that as a beautiful gift you have in the world organizing things for people and including people and I can't wait to love you up some more in the next year and I can't wait to see you uh, next Thursday as we kick off again Brother Sethi, happy birthday you may not know this but I see you, my brother I see your beauty, I see your strength, your generosity, your joy. I also see your pain, I see your struggle, and I see you rise up, dust off, and shine. This world is truly a better place because of your light. My favorite memory of you is from a night on the shuttle at Burning Man a couple of years, about, a couple of years ago. You and I and my friend Zaid from South Africa were standing up on the cab. We were discussing the word Ubuntu, which means I am because we are. I was sharing how I feel you were my father in a past life. So on your birthday, my wish for you is that coming year be filled with magic and dreams and hope for a more connected, more loving, more creative, and a more peaceful world. 
may you continue to be who you are and how you are in this world. I hope you grow in ways you had never imagined. And I hope somewhere in the next year you surprise yourself. May you always be surrounded by loved ones. And that includes me. Yes, I'm already in it, my brother. Love you. Happy birthday. Hey, Seth. Happy birthday, bud. I think other than the playa, this is maybe the most fitting place I could find to share a couple of my favorite things about you. The first is uh, the Seth Miller greeting, or as I affectionately like to call it, the Jack in the Box of Love. There's uh, this moment when you first see Seth until you're uh, literally arm's length away where there's an anticipation building, uh, there's an excitement and a love that builds. Uh, and then uh, once, once you're within arm's reach and Seth has you in one of his giant uh, bear hugs, it's the, the whole box springs loose uh, and it's love everywhere. And it's the best way to be greeted and to greet people. So uh, thank you for all those Jack in the Boxes uh, over time, Seth. Uh, the second thing I, that I would share with you is a compliment that I'm going to try and wrap into some advice, which is uh, about the Seth Miller Stoke. Uh, it's, it's about when you, you know, are always sincere and genuine uh, in, your, in your belief uh, and your excitement for other people. It's, uh, you know, if, I had a, if I had a dollar for, uh, for every time I heard you say, oh, that's awesome and truly believe it, uh, you know, I wouldn't have a job that I'm sneaking away from right now to go for this run. But you know, until the time that we can monetize the Seth Miller Stoke, uh, I would just say continue to embrace it and uh, continue to invest in it. Uh, it draws people to you and it has the power to galvanize them around your vision. So I love you uh, from the whole family, uh, including the newest addition who's still waiting for her first Jack in the Box. Uh, happy birthday, deepest, sincerest birthday wishes. Uh, we love you and look forward to seeing you soon. Happy birthday, Sethi. Um, to answer the two questions, the first one, how have you touched my life? Um, you touched my life and basically changed it forever because you are part of my Playa family one. Just taking me out to the burn and introducing me to that world has touched my life beyond any other experience and I thank you so much for that. Um, the second question, one of the most vivid memories of us, um, for me would be when we were at Burning Man, I believe it was the first burn, my first burn, and we were looking for the Glofer bus, uh, the night of the burn. It was one of the most joyous moments. I've had on Playa to date, and I believe I've been, what, 13 years now? Oof. Um, so, yeah, it was just the most beautiful thing. The way that we were so connected, all of us as a family, and how we became Playa Family One, and just was the most enchanting and filled with wonder, experience, um, to just go searching for the Quilfer bus with you. Anyway, I hope you have the most perfect birthday, the most fulfilling decade, and I love you so much, Officer Miller. Seth Miller, I miss you, brother. Boy, advice for you. I think it's more like I should be taking advice from you, but <clears throat> my advice to you, Seth, is to keep drinking whatever elixir that you are drinking because you look half your age. You're soulful, you're genuine, you're kind, you're fun and fun-loving, and that's what I love about you, brother. So, happy 50th, and uh, I hope to continue celebrating another 50. Hey Sethi, happy, happy birthday. Hope you have an awesome year. Check out this view. And guess what? I wouldn't be stuck in this crazy hole with this crazy man who put me up here if it wasn't for you. You wanna say a message? I do not enjoy getting into these messes. He makes me get into these messes. 
But anyhow, happy birthday, Sethi. We love you. Okay, Seth. I'm so sorry. I'm doing this from sitting outside my house waiting for a lift, which might arrive in the middle of the video, which would be really amusing. Um, okay, best memory of Seth. I can't really beat the one from just a couple weeks ago when we were, um, you know, I was, I was hanging out naked on the beach because, you know, that's what you do. And I was collecting rocks for Max. And, and then Seth comes down with a couple other friends and we all proceed to get naked and jump in the ocean. And it got better because then after that, we, we climbed up the rocks and we, uh, we did a double dip, one in the ocean and one in like a little um, pond in a stream, which was amazing. So that, that memory is, is gonna be tough to beat for a really long time. Uh, advice for Seth to be his best self, well, I mean, the best advice I can give anyone is to meditate every day because it will absolutely change your life. Um, and what else? Hang out with awesome people, which he already does. And I'm so excited to be one of them and to get more of that. So they love you. Happy birthday. And let's hang soon. Hey, Cottontail. Happy 50th. I can't believe you're 50. And here's a tribute to dear old Penn. But it is unbelievable that you're 50. You have lived an unbelievable 50 years, it has been amazing spending all the time that we've spent today together doing all those crazy things. And my advice for you for your next 50 is to spend it just like your first 50. Live life to the fullest as you always do. Enjoy it all, enjoy every moment. Um, I'm sure we'll have a lot more good times together. I love you, man. Happy 50th. My birthday wish for you, Seth, new and wonderful friend, in the form of an ode. An ode to Seth, who asks questions that evoke histories and laughter, who speaks the accolades of friends in the presence of their mothers, because that is a gift to all, who meanders through madrones, weaving stories and friendships into a maze of brilliant colors, a force of solid and soft, a wide smile, an open heart, the source of creation and connection. We are all so lucky. Happy birthday, Seth. the worst person when it comes to selfies, video taping myself or expressing thoughts in a public forum. But for you, I'm taking myself out of that comfort zone um, because I love you so much. Um, first of all, I want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. And secondly, there aren't enough words to express the phrases that I want to give you, but I'm only limited to 36 seconds. One to say is your generosity, and I came up with this um, poem in regards to your generosity, and that is, You are truly generous who gives certainly without hope or praise or reward. In your generosity, you give so much love. I am humble and grateful for your constant love. Anyway, I hope that. Hey, Seth. Out of everyone on these videos, I probably know you the least, but I do have to say, I love you like a brother. You are part of Kristen's San Francisco family, and my advice to you is to continue what you're doing. You are always striving to better yourself, your family, and the world, and continue to do that, because I know you're destined for great things. Happy birthday, and have a great day. Cheers. Happy birthday, Sethi. It is a true honor and privilege to pay tribute to you on your special day. Uh, you are one of the most beautiful humans I've ever met and you really exemplify what it is to live and love freely, fully, and unconditionally. And as I think back on the nearly four years I've known you, there isn't an interaction we have had where you haven't touched, moved, or inspired me. Um, this goes way back to when we met at Heather and Dan's wedding um, on the beautiful Guardians of the Universe Day. I was your team captain um, on the blue team, also known as uh, Team Neptune, Guardians of the Mysterious Blue Planet and Masters of the Blue Universe, formerly known as the artist named Blue Manchu. Um, whether it was Beach Scrabble or the group Galaxy Song Dance Off or inventing a new group snuggle position, you just killed it and you just had this joy and zest for life um, and really appreciating the finer things in life. And by finer things, it's, it's the authentic human experience that you share. Whether it is a beautiful sunset or going for that morning swim 
or this new mix of chocolate with nuts that you want everyone to try. Uh, you're just such a big, beautiful kid. Um, and I love that about you. And just by being you, you really inspire um, others around you and cultivate a beautiful, intentional community that has mind-blowing ripple effects beyond uh, your wildest imaginations. So I hope you know that you are loved and appreciated in that way. Um, and, you know, uh, I can really credit you with many things, and one of them is uh, kind of redefining for me what family is and what it means to show up for people. Uh, that is something that has had such a transformative experience on me, and uh, you've made uh, such an impression on my life and all of those around you. So, happy birthday, Sethi. Uh, love you, and I can't wait to give you a big, dusty hug. Hey, Sethi. It's Groovy. I'm going to try one more time at this video thing, as I've been running around with my nine kids, and it's been difficult to get the time. I wanted to make sure that I uh, give you this video shout out because uh, it's important, because I love you, and because we've been through a lot together. Obviously through Penn and ZBT, and obviously our graduation dinner at uh, the Four Seasons after Penn. Um, love to remember all of our camping trips, whether it be Shasta, Whitney, wherever in the Lost Coast, and remembering you as sort of Grandpa Mills, driving too worried that you might damage your dad's car, your infinity on the dirt road. Um, we had amazing times together and uh, have known each other through uh, thick and thin, up and down. But just want to make sure uh, that you know that you are uh, truly loved for your passion, for empathy for others, um, for kindness, and for you always wanting to just sort of have fun and human interaction. Uh, the thing I'd want to just tell you is, most importantly, just be happy and surround yourself uh, with friends. That's really all that matters in life. The entire Gruber family loves you, sends you the warmest birthday wishes, and so you may have an awesome day and uh, a wonderful 50 years more. Love you. Bye. It's at the happy 50th. Congratulations meeting this uh, big milestone. You're a little bit behind me, but fine. I uh, want to make sure everybody knows and you remember uh, our wonderful time together. Bring your head through a wall. All the hiking. Um, what I love about you is uh, just your uh, free attitude. Um, and just wanting to uh, get out and do whatever you want. Uh, which means a lot of times never being on time. Um, because that you didn't have much responsibilities, right? It's, uh, that's fun. <laughs> um, but, you know, we love you for who you are. Even your Coke bottle glasses when you're a little guy and all. Um, and uh, I just wish uh, you the best in life. Um, and the only uh, suggestion I have is just remember and love your friends and family. Um, it's important and uh, I look forward to a lifelong a friendship with you in the future and just hope that we uh, see each other a lot more. Love you, brother. Bye. Hey, Seth. Uh, I wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. It's a big one. Um, so let me share uh, my favorite memory with you, which is relatively recent, when we were in Mexico for Tim and Pang's re-wedding. And uh, we got a chance to reconnect and you know just kind of talk to each other and then jump in the ocean with a bunch of friends. And I just had a great time. Um, and I hope we get to spend more time together. My advice to you is to hang on to the things that make you special. And to me, that's, you know, kind of that you're in many ways an old soul, you're a wise person, and yet you're young at heart. Um, and keeping that balance is part of what makes you amazing. So I wish you a happy 50th and I look forward to seeing you soon. Hey Seth, happy birthday. Um, I have more fond memories of you than I can even begin to list. Um, everything from being at different parties to just having one-on-one -on -one conversations, whether it's dinner, whether it's being at Further Future, whether it's being at the airport in Vegas, whether it's being on the playa, whether it's being on the shuttle, whether it's in your kitchen cooking for people or in my car on like a carpool drive to or from somewhere. There are just so many. Um, 
one of the things that I really love about you is that you can equally very quickly go into an intense conversation and one that's really honest and one that isn't even always easy um, but you have a really special ability to hold someone's hand and walk through that with them whether it's about you or whether it's about that other person what I also love is this family that you've created and that I'm blessed to be a part of and that this one here is blessed to be a part of. Um, as you know, I have my own problems with my biological family, but you have been a true, true brother to me and I can't express how much gratitude I have for that relationship and that love. And I love you very much. And so does Izzy. And um, besides, you love bacon. High five. <laughs> happy birthday happy birthday Seth so what I love about you the most is that you are a curator of beautiful humans and a builder of community you know when you climb up on the top of the shuttle and you're sitting by yourself you're probably looking at an epic sunrise and looking out at your family and you have a huge grin on your face. Always do that. So that's my life advice to you, is to always take pause in the moment. Take a little bit of the magic that you've created in for yourself, so that no matter where you are and what you're feeling, you'll always remember that you're loved but it'll allow you to always be able to give back. I love you. Happy birthday, Uncle Sethi. Happy birthday. Do you have any advice for Uncle Sethi on his good year? No. What any do you say? Anything you want to say thank you to him for? Um, thank you for letting me ride on the district space show. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sethi. We love you so much. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday, man. The last couple of years spending time with you in Forum have just been incredibly transformational for me. And I wanted to share with you how great those memories have been. Some of my, like, some of my most uh, like impactful, impactful moments have been the feedback that you've given me, like the deep, thoughtful, just genuine feedback. Um, the one I remember right now is you're reminding me to remember that the work I'm doing, all the creative paths I've taken in my life that often I've sort of looked down upon, but you know, you're reminding me that you know, those decisions, though that creativity has really been and continues to be in the service of others, which is such a big rallying call for me in the work I'm doing right now. And also about four or five years ago, must have been six in the morning. We're off the coast of Miami on a cruise ship. Uh, man, realizing in that moment, looking at you and, and, and really truly realizing that you're that missing link for me in my life and that I just feel so much love around you and really feel complete around you. And I'm just so grateful for that. I am excited to celebrate your birthday through this message and in many, many um, times after this, I, I, um, I'm still very grateful to have you in my life. Happy birthday. Seth, um, you've touched my life in a big way. And what I love about you is, is how much you stand for love. Uh, your hard hugs, your eye contact, your intensity, um, the things that you choose to do with your time, and the community that you've built around you, not just for yourself, but for everyone around you to be a part of. And I feel so grateful that I get to be with you on this journey in our sentient beings on this planet for this while. Um, advice I have for you. I was really racking my brain on this one and I'd say, experiment with commitment <laughs> um, and let's see how you've touched my life 
I remember hearing you reflect back some of the best moments in your life and the, the moments when you knew that you were in your genius. And it, I really, I thought to myself, I didn't know that people like this were real. Um, that the the ability to have structure, the ability to to bring love and passion in, and uh, belief into everything you do, the creativity, the the social skills, the heart, um, the <laughs> the strength to physically build um, all the things that you do, and I know you put so much energy into everything that you do and that you do for others. And I'm just wishing for you for this birthday that you allow so much of that to come back to you. Be well. I love you so much. Happy birthday. Seth Miller, Mr. Caviar, dashing, considerate, lovely, brilliant man you are. I will always remember you for your line about um, why you love cooking because you put love into your food. And then your friends, they eat your love. Uh, you are such a joy to be around. You have such a beautiful perspective on the world. You're so hardworking, you're so considerate, you're such a community builder. You are a true Renaissance man. You are definitely one of the most eligible bachelors I know. So whenever I meet an incredible woman, you're like the first guy that comes to mind. Uh, and you will continue to be until uh, we help you find your your, uh, your soulmate. But uh, you're an incredible man. I'm grateful to call you a friend and uh, look forward to deepening for years to come. Have an incredible birthday. I love you very much. And I'm sorry for this one. Who's having a conversation about whether or not it was weird for Michael Jackson to sleep in the bed with strange boys. That's a whole nother tangent. We don't need to talk about that now. I love you, bye. Hey Seth, happy birthday. I know this is a big one for you, so I'm gonna make this one quick. I know a lot of other people have things to say and I didn't really have anything prepared because there's no way to capture, capture all the things I'd wanna say in this short video. But uh, I do wanna say that I really appreciate you for everything you've done, for your friendship, what you've done as part of our community and uh, bringing our, our Disco Space Shuttle family together in the many ways you have. Uh, I do consider you one of my closest friends, obviously, but I do think of you as a brother. And uh, this is an awesome opportunity for us to all to get together and celebrate that. So have a happy birthday and I uh, look forward to celebrating many more with you to come. Love you, buddy. Bye. Take 35. Just kidding. Hey, Miller, I've never done a video like this before. So yet another pearl of an experience uh, be associated with being your friend. Uh, Seth, thank you so much for being such an amazing friend. Um, you and I have been friends for, it seems like since we were kids. Um, it's been so long since we met at Kellogg um, when we were bunk mates and you wouldn't um, let me ever fall asleep. We're always talking about some silly stories. Uh, it's great. Uh, and that's when our friendship was born. Um, you know, more than 20 years later, um, I feel like you're a brother. I feel like you're family. Um, I love you. Uh, you've been an amazing friend. You've always made time for me, always listened, um, always made, made time not only for me um, and in your schedule. Um, but I know you're just always there for me. Um, that means a, a ton. Um, and you're one of my very, very dear friends. You've taught me better ways to live. Um, you know, I, I think um, you certainly live life to the fullest. Um, I don't know how the hell you, you get up um, after boozing all night and, and then run or, or bike or whatever it is that you do. Um, you have amazing energy and it's infectious um, to those around you. I think the way you live has also been infectious. I think the, the community you've built uh, in San Francisco has been, um, been amazing. Um, you brought me to San Francisco and, and I've watched um, different cycles of friends kind of come and go and I'm, I'm honored uh, to still be among your closest and still spend lots of time together. Um, I think um, you know you work a hell of a lot less than a lot of people I know. I wish I could figure out how to do that. Um, uh, myself and a lot of others admire that, the way you live. Um, you've, you've achieved uh, a way of, um, of, of achieving happiness and um, somehow work only, you know, however many hours you, you work. You're certainly, uh, you're certainly not a workaholic. Uh, you might be some other a holic, but not, not a workaholic. Um, and I, I admire that um, among other amazing um, attributes that you have. Um, again, just bringing this ama amazing community together um, and, and being such a good person and being there for all of us. So 
Thanks, Seth. Uh, thanks for being an amazing buddy. And um, I hope uh, nothing more than uh, to be extremely close to you in the future and um, you know, battle each other um, in our wheelchairs when we get old. All right, man. See ya. Happy birthday, Seth. Big 5-0. Big 5-0. What an exciting time to celebrate a half century of you because you are such a special person. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. I was just actually thinking about some of the ways in which you, as soon as you had the opportunity, just really opened your heart and your home and um, your arms to me in a way that just always made me feel so accepted and so loved. And it's a real, it's a real magical skill that you have. Um, and I was thinking back to New Year's a few years ago, um, we were all at Matt Mullenweg's house when he was out of town, but we were waiting to get ready to go out to a Tyco show. And you suggested, why don't we call my parents? <laughs> and you, you got your parents on the phone and we're just so happy to have them talk to, to Tobias and talk to me, someone they'd never met and they didn't know, but now I'm so glad to have met them you know, a number of times and have a relationship there. And, and you were just you know, so willing to open up your family and your heart. And it just, it really has filled me with joy since the moment you and I got to become friends and now be family. So I just want to wish you the happiest, happiest birthday. I'm so glad we get to be together in Hawaii to celebrate um, and just know that you are just an important part of my heart and I love you so much. Happy birthday. Hey Seth, happy birthday. You know, I was wondering today um, why we're close friends and uh, you don't like, you don't like bacon. You don't like red wine. You eat dairy-free ice cream. Dairy-free. And, uh, and you're not a fan of music. And in spite of almost no shared interests, um, this friendship goes deep and you know, spans a decade. And uh, what an incredible friendship it's been. You know, from deep conversations on grain hikes and cuddle puddles to persistently failed attempts of, uh, of doing more daytime stuff because we go to bed at 6 a.m. And I hope none of that changes. And, and also just seeing you, the way you nurture community and show up for people is, uh, is really inspiring. Uh, what a gift that is. And I know dancing in this life is definitely better than you in it. Uh, so many special memories for us, including our, our go-to spot with, uh, with dogs and babies and all of the above. Um, but I'll reflect on one that's more recent is, is just surrendering to the ground, to the dust on the playa with some of our closest friends around us and you and me just sort of laying there. Uh, and and uh, these, are, these are memories I know we'll both cherish for a very long time to come. And I cannot wait what other adventures we co-create together. And I hope we're watching this video on some magical island by the ocean. And uh, I just want to honor you and give you lots of gratitude for all that you do and, and say happy birthday and uh, wish you all the best and lots of good health and peace. And, and uh, I love you. Hi, Seth. One of the consolations of getting older is that every year you have more and more happy memories that you can dwell in. So I thought as a gift to you on this birthday, I would share with you some of my favorite memories of great times that we've had together. So here it goes. Mirror tiling late into the night on Treasure Island. Stargazing laying back on a rock high in the mountains in the Trinity Alps the Enchanted Forest, <laughs> snorkeling in Tulum with Jackie and Roy, uh, silks and crepes and the ice cream bar. How we got skinny doing that, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, Lucy and me and you on the roof of the cab of the space shuttle uh, just before sunset. Tears. Uh, who's in charge? That was another Lucy day. <laughs> The Golden Gate Bridge, Paradise Loop, Headlands, Bonus Loop, 
old La Honda, King's Mountain, and especially the Village Pub. <laughs> Three Babes and a Jesus, uh, Star Wars lightsaber battles, uh, Battlestar Galactica, the Documentary Club, uh, Kokari and Scarlet Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, Tartine Pastries, and cupcakes and cakes and 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 donuts uh, donuts in the hospital those are just a very few of the many memories i have of you and i that make me smile and hopefully uh, it's made you smile too so happy 50th birthday dear friend uh, may it be the first of many 50th birthday anniversaries to come you know that? You know I don't usually use this precious late night time to do videos and to be just do Facebook posts. But I'm doing this for you. Because I love you. You are my friend. You have given me more gifts than I've already been given. You've taught me more than I could ever hope for a brother. Keep doing that. I wish you the best of birthdays and I look forward to another good day. I love you. And many more on channel 4 fall through the door. Happy birthday, man. So I have had the luxury of being able to talk with some people about their videos and listen to some videos. And as I did, it became clear that there were themes emerging and the themes were things that certainly resonated for me too. The first of which is that you really treat people like family and we feel like your family. I certainly do. Um, you have taught me how to love and be loved and for that I am forever grateful. Um, you've also taught me so much about self-compassion, and you, uh, that was a second theme that emerged, uh, that you're an inspiration and that you help people get in touch with a sense of that. Um, and that's really the thing. That's the thing. So that's such a gift. And if I had birthday advice um, or a birthday wish for you, it would be that you continue on that path for yourself and with yourself because I fully believe that once we get in touch with that everything else um, sort of falls into place um, so that that is my advice and birthday wish for you we have come a long way you and I um, we've known each other a long time and I am uh, grateful for that and so happy that I get to celebrate this birthday with you and looking forward to many more chapters in this journey I love you and I wish you the best of birthdays. Happy 50th birthday, Seth Miller. I love you very much. And not for what you do, but for the essence of who you are. You have this loving essence which manifests in kindness and a warmth and a zest for life that uh, envelops everyone around you. and. I see it every time I look at you and close my eyes and think about you, I can feel it. My wish for you on this 50th birthday, hmm, my wish for you is you, you keep on digging, you keep on exploring those inner realms that you've been doing and doing it with more courage, even more courage than you've had and you've had so much. But to really go into the places that are scariest uh, and the darkest and shine the light on them because I think on the other side there really is an incredible treasure for you waiting there. Love you brother. Hi! So I love you because you are 13 going on 300. <laughs> As in you are one of the most playful um, and open-minded people that I know as well as one of the wisest, most compassionate, and most empathetic. And I think that those two things are beautiful to find in the same person. It makes you a really fun friend, um, as well as a really fantastic teacher. Um, and my advice for you going forward
maybe try to work on your reflexes so that Nala doesn't punch you in the face so much. Because one day, one day, she may leave a scar. That would be, that would be sad. Because you have such a great face. Okay, I love you. Hey, happy birthday, Seth. Um, so I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that you've probably influenced my life more than any other friend I've had. Um, and I think that's a good thing. Um, anyway, looking forward to the next 50 years of cycling, skiing, hiking, sleeping on Mount Tam, and of course going to Burning Man. Happy birthday. Seth Miller. Dude. Okay. I want to let you know a couple things. First of all, happy fucking birthday. You uh, are such an inspiration, such a dear friend, such a lovely, lovely human. Someone that I aspire to have around for the rest of my life. You really are such a special person and I'm so grateful to have you in my life. Fucking 50, man. Wow. I have to say, like, knowing you and knowing the kind of life you live has been really incredible because it makes me think and believe that 50 is gonna be an amazing, amazing, amazing time. <laughs> so, so thank you for, uh, plowing the way forward with a life full of joy and wonder and beauty and friendship uh, and, and just incredible vivaciousness. You really do make me look forward to getting older. Uh, in this next decade of your life, man, this next year of your life, this next like six months of your life, Dude, I hope you find love, and I hope you find the thing in your life, the person in your life, that gives you some centered sense of happiness and joy on a regular, daily basis. Um, you have so much love to give, and you give it so freely. Um, and you definitely deserve to find someone that is your equal, someone that inspires you, and someone that gives you a tremendous amount of joy. I love you so much, man. I'm so excited to be spending this next bit with you uh, in just a few short days. Um, I love you so much, man. Happy birthday. I love you, Seth Miller. I love how thoughtful, generous, and kind you are. I always say when I describe you, you're just like a ball of love and light. And I am so, so grateful and lucky to have you as a friend. I feel like I get to bask in your reflected glow. I love being around you with other people and just seeing how much you and your energy just lights them up or gives them permission to light up and feel safe. And I think you're just such a gift for creating the space for people to feel their love, feel positivity, feel energized. And I know that's true for me. That's one of the things I love most about you. You're such a loyal and caring and... and hmm. Just such a true friend to me, so thank you for that. And uh, I also love your commitment to growth. It's been such a pleasure to be on this journey together and just get to support each other and watch each other grow. And you inspire me to grow, and I think I inspire you. And we have this beautiful dance where we get to grow together. So I'm so grateful for that and your courage and taking that on and really will it, being willing to look at all the places that you're still contracting and still want to grow. So I love that about you as well. Advice. This is a hard one. Um, train not to give advice as a coach. Um, I 
I think you know uh, there's things that you're working on so the that's what's coming up for me is just just really really own that one cannot drink from an empty cup and the most generous and kind thing you can do for others is to keep yourself full and really tune into your own needs and wants and know that we love you and that you're giving to us when you let us love you and you just open to receive so that would be my biggest advice to you just stay open to receiving and know there is nothing you have to do to be loved so you're welcome to be generous and kind and cook for everybody and take care of everything but you certainly don't have to to be loved so just do it when and if you want to i love you buddy